Hello friends, you are watching a Rudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Uh, hello friends, today I'll show a basic heat transfer problem through a wind tunnel uh, using solid explosive solution. And in this case, my attention will be using porous medium at a specific location. In this case, I'll show how to apply porous medium and what are the benefits of applying porous medium. Okay, so we have made this one using SOLIDWORKS. And the parts have already been made using different cross-sectional areas and all these cross-sectional areas were added using locked boss base, right? So this is a starting. At a different locations, we have made different cross-sections. All the cross sections I have made it actually hidden. Uh, these are the main cross section, entry cross section, and this portion is actually our porous medium, and this is the exit one. And the porous medium actually, what it is, it is done to to reduce the volume flow rate, and volume flow rate can be controlled using the porosity. In this case, we are having a default porosity of fifty percent. That is, fifty percent of volume will be reduced. So too much pressure difference will be there. We are trying to find out pressure difference and temperature difference at the entry and exit points, right? So for applying this porous medium, what we have made this at this specific location, we have provided a solid, right? And this solid we have given porosity. And if we check the geometry of this one, it will not consider this solid medium. So it will make this object hidden, okay? We have already made this leads at the entry and exit points using flow simulation tools right so we have to start this simulation and before starting this simulation you have to create that environment using wizard okay so we're starting from wizard and by default the project name is coming as project 2 next c the unit system we're considering as si and Temperature will consider as degree centigrade and pressure will be in Pascal. Next, it will be an internal analysis and we are considering heat conduction in solids. Next, gases we are considering as air only. Next, the solid material. Solid material we can consider here it is as aluminium next and default out of wall thermal conditions and roughness we are considering next thermodynamic parameters initial temperature is considered as 20 degrees centigrade and solid parameters let's take this one as also 20 degrees centigrade Finish it. This is the computational domain. We know that domain should be low to reduce the numbers of calculations and calculation times or iteration times. And it should not be such that any part of the object should not be outside this domain. So we can edit this part, we can make this domain a little bit bigger. We can go to the computational domain edit definition we can make it a little bigger in which to ascertain that nothing is outside this domain right we can drag it a little up this is to ascertain that nothing is outside all parts of this wind tunnel is inside this domain okay this is ready i think it's perfect you can check next one we can make this domain hidden done next one we have to apply solid materials so we have already provided this one as aluminium so no need of applying this material again if different materials are there then you can apply here itself default material we have considered as already aluminium so no need of applying any other material at this moment okay let's apply boundary conditions now for better application of boundary conditions it is always preferable to Select a segmented view of this model. You can cut it from front plan. Can check. 
you know, can apply boundary conditions in a better way. So, boundary conditions, insert boundary condition. Our fluid was air and we have to provide air at a specific velocity. Let the inlet velocity be 0 0.5 meter per second. And thermodynamic pan can provide the temperature of air as 60 degree centigrade. What air we are providing? Right? And that will be provided at this inlet location. Select, go and check. Next, you have to apply at the exit point that will be equal to atmospheric pressure. Boundary conditions, insert boundary condition. It will be atmospheric pressure at the exit level. Go and check. It is done. Two boundary conditions we have applied. Now we can apply porosity to the specific material. So it can be inserted from conditions. Porous medium predefined. We are considering isotropic, that means in all directions, porosity will be the same, it will not be changing along any direction. So we have to select that specific location. And the material is this one for our porosity. This isotropic medium, we we'll check, and we are considering really here in this case adiabatic condition. All the boundary conditions have been applied properly. You can define some goals like it will be pressure difference at the entry and exit points, but at the same time, we want to see temperature difference also. Because of this effect of this material that is semi permeable membrane or semi permeable porous medium can have a huge pressure difference at the entry and exit levels. Even along this cross section also, we can see a huge change in pressure difference. Okay, so we're selecting some goals. Insert surface goals. Then to have pressure and temperature differently. Let's select average pressure at entry. Go and check. Again, another goal will be insert surface goal, average pressure at the exit end. Go and check. So we can rename these things as average total pressure at entry and the second one will be average pressure at exit two goals you have defined again we're going to have temperature difference also goals insert surface goals average temperature at the entry We can check. We can rename this one as average temperature fluid at entry. And when we see average temperature at the exit also, right? So goals insert surface goals average temperature at the exit. We check. We can rename this as average temperature of fluid at exit. Done. Now next we want to find the pressure difference and temperature difference that can be obtained using equation goal. So goals insert equation goal and it can be obtained from the goals itself. Adding goals. First equation goal we can have as difference of pressure, right? So it will be pressure at the entry minus pressure at the exit. 
one equation goal is done this one you can rename as pressure difference then now I want to see the final one that is temperature difference between the entry and exit levels so another equation goal is needed insert equation goal that can be obtained from the goals it will be average temperature entry minus average temperature at the exit green check and we can rename this one as temperature difference so all the goals have been defined properly now can run it let's run it you can see the solve window it has already started preparing the model iterations are yet to be started meshing is going on it will take some time to get all these iterations to be completed whenever it is finished we'll see the results and analyze it the solver is finished we can see the results here itself like uh, the main difference in temperature between the entry and the exit level is 11.7738 degrees centigrade and pressure difference is it is very less it is 101.325 pascal i'm better to see all these results from the original results itself so let's close it and see the results you can see the results from the cut ports itself first cut ports insert from the front plane we'll see the pressure distribution let's see it so across this porous medium it is showing pressure distribution better to see these things in the form of an animation let's make it visible from the front plane and we'll see these things in the form of animation cut plot one play So we can see at the entry pressure is very high it is in the red region and as it is approaching throughout this porous medium its pressure is reducing and that reduction is continuing throughout the end you can see here it is it is changing pressure is decreasing from here to here at this location pressure is minimum and the same trend is moving till the exit okay uh, similarly you can see the temperature also temperature fluid you can see you can see temperature distribution here itself okay now we'll see one thing like uh, instead of this we'll see surface plots also cut parts one clear and hide this part now we'll see surface plots across the whole surface of this wind tunnel what is the pressure distribution and velocity etc let's see pressure we are using all phases see at the beginning pressure is very high it is 101.379 pascal and as it is approaching towards the porous medium its pressure is reducing and at this last location its pressure is very less and the same trend is moving at the exit level also right you can see this is pressure distribution along all the surfaces right okay next one we want to see the flow trajectories this is very important to see how the pressure distribution is or velocity is changing across this wind tunnel so surface plots clear and hide this part next one we will see flow trajectories so insert flow trajectory and instead of 20 numbers we want to make it high little bit let's make it 60 numbers and we will see in the form of arrows only we will select the locations from entry to exit so we can select these locations select select other lead number one and again we have to select the exit also select select other first lead number two so we have select both the entry and exits green check 
play. See how the air particles are moving. Initially, air particles are moving with high pressure in the range of 101379 Pascal. And as it is approaching towards the porous medium, its pressure is decreasing. That is, volume for it also reduced using porosity of 50% reduction in volume for it. Okay. Let's clear this part. We can see the goal ports. Flow trajectories, they are unhide. Next, we'll see the goal plots, that is the, our goals, what we decided that we want to see. Goal plots, insert. See all the goals, show. These are the results which one we have already seen from the survey window itself. Now, better to see all these things in the form of graphs, right? So, we can see it from history in the form of graphs. Initially, you can see that total pressure at the entry, it was high. And as it was approaching towards the exit, its value is decreasing. Similarly, at the exit also pressure, you can see pressure, initially pressure is very less. It was increasing and again, it has started decreasing. Average temperature of fluid at the entry, it was 60 degrees centigrade. This is actually our input condition. So this one will not change because our initial temperature of air was 60 degrees centigrade, right? You can see the next one. Average temperature of fluid throughout this wind tunnel. Initially, it was at the exit level. Initial temperature was near about 17 degrees centigrade and for specific time, it was constant, then it was increasing. And finally, its value has come in the range of 47.27 degrees centigrade at the exit level. And pressure difference, we can see. Initially, pressure difference was from the equation goal, we got pressure difference and temperature difference also, right? Initially, it was uh, near about, you can say this is 193. 0.47 Pascal and at the exit level the pressure difference is 54.25 Pascal and temperature difference initially it was 40.4854 degree centigrade and at the exit the temperature difference is you can see here itself at the exit temperature difference is 56 degree centigrade okay and this is all about our today's analysis of heat transfer through a wind tunnel using porous medium. Now we can see one thing like by replacing this porous medium, you can see what will be the pressure difference at the entry and exit level. And you can compare all these results. Okay. This is all about our today's analysis. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please write to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.